This week marked the 67th anniversary of the departure of the British colonizers from Sudan and the country's independence, although some Sudanese take issue with the term, wondering whether it's a real independence or merely the substitute of a foreign colonizer with an internal one. It's not a dispute limited to those living within the country's borders, but also extends to those Sudanese refugees living in Israel. Mubarak Ishak is the Secretary General of the Office of the Sudan Liberation Movement and Army in Tel Aviv. His position on the independence anniversary is clear. Sincere greetings and thanks for the opportunity. And on this glorious holiday for the independence of Sudan, I salute the masses of the Sudanese people on this occasion. We hope that it will be a year of prosperity, happiness, and end to tragedies in our country. Other refugees disagree with Mubarak, as Adin Hussein Ahmed is a leader in the office of another Sudanese movement in Tel Aviv. As for the independence that took place in 1956, with the departure of the English from Sudan, it was not real independence. Independence did not discuss the roots of the Sudanese crisis from the beginning. We have the problem of identity and the economy, as well as the political and racist crisis. The English colonizer left, and the area of Sudan is 1,200,000 square miles. But the country lost a third of its area after South Sudan gained its independence in 2011. Separation came after a long war that lasted two and a half decades, in which more than two million people were killed in a conflict known as the identity struggle. We are spinning in a vicious circle of wars and infighting that led to the division of a large part of our dear homeland with the secession of the state of South Sudan. And we in northern Sudan are still suffering from the scourge of wars and daily killing in the regions. Darfur, the Nuba Mountains, the division of the Blue Nile, now in the capital and the island, we are still searching for true independence and we have not reached it yet. Despite their flight from their countries as a result of the wars waged by the central authority in their territories, some of them still yearn for peace, bringing them and their families back from the refugee camps to their villages. I am a Sudanese refugee from Darfur, a refugee in the state of Israel. This is a vivid example of the failure of the Sudanese state. We're talking about millions of Sudanese living in Fiafi around the world as refugees. Of course, we miss the families who suffer in turn in camps and asylum, living in difficult conditions and compelling conditions in light of the economic and social deterioration in Sudan.